So we're going to take a look at addressing the machete defense. So for us, with the fit to fight weight, we really want to concentrate on really kind of getting out of the, the wide angle of the attack. Like a blunt instrument, you know, the swinging patterns tend to be kind of slashing this way, uh, straight overhead. But regardless, there's no real good path for me to stay and defend this on the outside, right? With the range that, that Brad has with this, if I stay anywhere but inside of this defense, I'm gonna get smashed, right? I'm gonna get cut up. So uh, we're, we're looking predominantly at, at closing the range. As opposed to other methods where we kind of dive in this with like a blunt object, it, it's just not an option on this one. Right? Especially if you're going overhead stat, uh, overhead slash this way, this is not an option. Right? So when I'm doing this defense, I really need to concentrate on closing that range, not giving him a, a angle of attack, not giving him more things to attack, and getting in on the inside. So for our basic high covers, which again, we will see a link uh, up on your right hand side, uh, I really want to think about utilizing those high covers, getting tight inside here. And as I'm doing that, I'm closing the range. So I'm minimizing the things he has access to in terms of attacking, and getting it inside to where I can look to control this and then now look to take my partner and depending on the context, with the most part with the machete, once I'm inside, I'm looking to dump it. So we'll turn this way. Brad swings, I'm looking to burst in, I'm going to high cover. I'm going to hit him hard as I do. I'm immediately looking to level change, I'm attacking his base as I do. I'm just looking to blast him here. My head drives in, I'm pushing that way with my head. I'm looking to drive his feet that way. One more time. Now if I need to follow, I can stay with him. When I disengage, I can always create space and disengage. So that's looking at machete attack. Good job.